Security Plus is the number one cybersecurity certification. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to pass Security Plus on your first attempt. Disclaimer, if you got zero experience and zero search, you got no business taking Security Plus first. Just don't do it. If you don't believe me, watch this video right here and it tells you exactly why it's a terrible idea to take Security Plus first. First thing you need to figure out is what's gonna be on the damn exam. And if you're even in a position or in a place to even take it right now. So if you come to the conclusion that Security Plus is what you need to be doing and what you wanna do, First thing you need to do is download the objectives. It's real simple. All you can do is go to Google, Google Security Plus Objectives, it'll pop up. You can go to CompTIA, it'll pop up, or you can go down in the description and you can actually click the link for the objectives. Now, as you're going through these objectives, you need to ask yourself three questions. Number one, do I know any of this stuff? Number two, does any of this stuff interest me? And number three, could I see myself doing any of this shit as a job? Why are those three questions important? Because you don't want to waste time, money, or energy on something that you cannot see yourself doing. After you answer these three questions, you need to go look at your bank account. Why? You need to see if you can actually afford to take the exam. The exam costs money. Why does it cost money? Because once you get these certifications, it's going to open you up to a bunch of high paying gigs. So you have to sacrifice some time and some money, but I don't want you to do that if you cannot afford to even take the exam. Another prerequisite or another thing is what CompTIA says. It says that you need a bunch of experience, a couple years to be exact. Now, just a secret between me and you, you don't need no experience. In fact, a bunch of my students were truck drivers, dishwashers, just nothing tech related, and they passed Security Plus on the first try. I'm gonna tell you how to do it as well. Look at the link in the description, the first link, and I want you to go through this free training that I made just for you. It's gonna show you exactly what you need to do to pass Security Plus on the first try with no experience. Let's get back to the video. Next thing you need to do is make sure that you're using the right tools. There's pretty much three different ways you can go about getting certified. You can go at it alone, you can go at it with some mentorship and some coaching, or you can do a mixture of both. My approach was definitely a mixture of both. First thing you need to do is use YouTube University, which you're using right now. Where you at right now? I actually got a full Security Plus course on this channel. You can go through the playlist, there's about 150 videos that'll get you prepared for Security Plus. Also, there's a bunch of other channels and a bunch of other videos helping you with stuff just like this. It's gonna take some time, but it's free 99. The second tool is something called ChatGPT. Actually, let me show you how it works. All right, gang, so what we're looking at right here is OpenAI, and this is where you go to to get ChatGPT, get access to it to do whatever you need to do with it, right? So for the sake of time, I already input some stuff here so we can kind of see. So we can be super basic, super uh, non-complex, and just put CompTIA practice questions, and it will start spitting out different types of practice questions, right? So uh, what is RAM, so on and so forth. Then we can get even deeper than that, get a little bit more complex. The next thing I asked was break down CompTIA Security Plus questions in a way that a five-year-old will understand the most complex topics. First thing you spit out, passwords and authentication. Imagine a secret code that only you and your special toy know. When you want to play with your toy, you have to tell it a secret code, and if it's the right code, you can play with that toy. Then we broke it down even more. So this is the last one that I did. Create a 90 question CompTIA exam, ensure the questions are at least a paragraph long. At a college reading level, the exam needs to have all domains covered within the certification. Every answer needs a thorough explanation and real world scenario. So this is the first thing it, it spit out. So this is from domain one. What is the difference between a virus and a worm? Then it has an explanation. Then it goes on and on and on from there. And you can continue to do this, break it down further, make it simpler, make it more complex. Now, let me blow myself up so you fully understand. So gang, understand, this is just a tool. That's all this is. This is just a tool. This is not the end all be all. This isn't a cheat code. This is just another tool for you to use, right? Be sure that you do everything in your power to prepare yourself. This is just another tool. Another thing is if you just spend all your time on chat, GPT, figuring out different questions, figuring out different stuff, memorizing that different stuff, that's not really going to help you, right? You got to have the skills, you got to have the experience, all that type of stuff. But this is a great tool. So go ahead and use it. Let's get back into 
the video. Now, the last tool I would say is probably the most important. That is getting into some type of coaching, mentorship, something with some structure that's going to actually give you a roadmap on exactly what you need to do. Let's be honest, gang. Most of y'all not going to do none of this shit. You've been on YouTube University. You've been watching all these videos. You might log into ChatGPT one time and then forget about it. So if you want to get into a structured program that got mentorship, give you the skills, give you the certifications, and actually guarantee, bing, that you will land a job, apply to the Zero to IT Hero program today. One bonus tool or one awesome tool is just your mindset. Do not try to do this by yourself. Trust me, you're going to go further a lot faster when you got a tribe, when you got a group of people that's either doing what you're trying to do or already done it. Get a community. Speaking of community, we actually got a booming community right now that's completely free that you can join as long as you got a Facebook account. So we got a community that just reached over 500 members. I'm hoping that we get at least a thousand members before 2024. No obligation. All you got to do is fill out a couple questions before you join and then you'll be in there with other people that are beginners, people that are experts, people that are actually working in the field and you'll be able to ask whatever questions and get whatever value that you can from this community. Go ahead and join. Last but not least is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the promise land. LinkedIn is the spot. LinkedIn it may not be as sexy as Facebook and Instagram, but it is a place to go to get connected with the people and the companies that are doing the things that you want to do, that are accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish. That is where you need to be, especially if you're unemployed or trying to get a better job. You need to be on LinkedIn connecting with people every day. I got my profile in the description if you want to connect with me and my company directly. Make sure that you take action on all this stuff immediately. I'll see you in class.